So, hey guys, I have a weird kind of video for you guys. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little bit, then you know I'm trying to complete the flagship horse collection. And I have all but three, so I have seven of the ten, there are ten out currently, and I have all but three, I have seven of them, I'm missing Elska, Saron, and Toro, and the rest I have. So, this is going to be a quick little video. I'm showing my flagship collection to you guys. So here is an overview of all the ones I have. I will go into depth with these guys, of each seven of these guys. So buckle down and bear with me. And I have them pulled up on my computer to help me. And I have their um, clear sheets that go in my binder to help me too. So yeah, we're going to start off with, and these are not in order because I, yeah. So this is, uh, first off I have a Glycero, which is this guy right here, or Glycero. He is the flagship. He's a brick and mortar flagship horse from 2016, and there are 2,500 of him made. And yeah, his show tech showing. Um, he is a uh, gr grulo, dark uh, grulo, and yeah, he is really nice. Here is a good view of him. Um, he has not won anything for me yet. He has not shown. Um, the show I'm taking him to will be his first show. So oh, that is him. He is a very lovely boy, and he's on the Andalusian Stallion mold. So, and he has um, a snip, which I freaking love snips. So that is Glycero, or Glycero, or how do you say his OF name? But that is him. Next we have a little pony. This is Icicle. He is a limited edition flagship horse and there are 3,500 of him made. And on his stomach it says limited edition 2013. He is from 2013 and he is a glossy gray, dapple gray. And he is quite freaking cute and he's on the bouncer mold. And again, I have showed him but I don't think he has placed. Let me look. And yeah. Uh, no, he hasn't placed for me yet. So... He is quite cute. I love him. I got him in a trade, so I don't have, like, his back of his box or anything. I have Glycero's back of his box. And then the other side of him. So that is uh, Icicle, and he is a glossy. Um, next up, we have the newest addition to my flagship collection. We have Beachcomber. Beachcomber. She is a 2017 flagship horse. There are 3,000 made of her, and it does not say on Identify Your Briar, but on the bottom of her little thingy right here, it says Beachcomber is a Chincoteague Pony Mare. Mare spotting, spotting a lovely pinto coat, a limited edition of only 3,000 pieces, pieces. So, yeah. And she's on the Cora Damja or the Connemara pony mold. So, and she is quite cute. Um, I really like her a lot. So, there's her. And um, she, this will be her first show, the one I'm taking to her. Taking. So, that is Beachcomber. And her very lovely tail. I love her tail. This horse in general is really nice. Um, I wish she had, came in better condition, but my friend said that this, she was the nicest one out of all of them that she had at the store. So, yeah. So next up we have is Alarius or Aurelius. I'm not 100% sure how to say his OF name, but he's from 2014 and he's a limited edition flagship horse as well. Um, he is a very lovely chestnut pinto. Or Wow, I'm looking at Beachcomber. <laughs> And I think chestnut, but though he's a very lovely chestnut, solid chestnut, and he has a blaze going into his snip, which is so freaking cute. I freaking love this horse, and I'm pretty sure he has not placed for me yet. I have showed him a few times, but I have a new breed for him, and he is also very high end in gloss, and I really love him. And he's on the Desert Auto mold, and my computer is running low on battery. But yeah, so that is the, that is uh, Alarius, Alarius, very lovely boy, I love him. Because if they have show placings, I will show you his placings. And yeah, he hasn't placed for me yet. Next up, this is the horse that started the flagship collections. This is Lionheart, he's from 2012, and there's actually not a, n a number of how many of him are made. And he is a Dunolino. Uh, a little out with Appaloosa and markings and another snip. I think, no, Beach Rovers have a snip. I thought most of all of them had snips, but yeah, they don't. But uh, yeah, he's on the Esprit mold or Esprit mold, I don't know, and he has a dorsal stripe, and there are some variations without a dorsal stripe. Um, and so there is a very 
look good look at him. He is quite lovely. I really like him. I am really glad I scooped him up when I could. So and and ignore the show tags and stuff because they are going to the show. And he actually has place for me. He actually got a fifth place for me. So that is very exciting for me. So that is Lionheart, and he is uh, the one that started the whole entire flagship collection. And next up we have is Wapiti. Uh, he is from 2013, and there, I don't think there's a number of how many of him are made. And he's on the Eidicus or the Warm Blood Stallion mold, and he is a Bay Orvarian Pinto. He is very cute. I really like him. And some of these guys aren't in the best condition, but that's okay, because I just love him for them so that is him that is Wapiti and he is actually placed for me too um and he has a different tail than the other Eidicuses do um I have three Eidicuses and he has the swishy tail version and it's my favorite version of on him so there is the and he has a really weird dorsal stripe or dark points going down his back that is Wapiti and he has placed a sticks for me so yep and then the last, but certainly not least, flagship horse we have is Argyle. Um, he is on the Winter Song mold, or the Othello mold. Uh, I bought him from a friend of mine, and is she has actually had one of the really nice Argyles. So I really was re like holding off to see if she would ever sell him, and I bought him. So I'm really glad I bought him. And he is super nice. Um, he's a rose gray, I believe, and there are 3,000 made of him too. He's a dappled rose gray on the Winter Sun mold, and he has the most adorable face. I freaking love this horse. Um, that is him. And, yeah. That's the, and uh, Icicle's the only one with something printed on his stomach. And for his old owner, he has a first and a second and two NAND cards. And he will be debuting again at the show I'm taking him to this weekend, which will be in two days. So look out for a result video on that. So yeah, that is my whole entire flagship collection. I am missing three, like I said, so hopefully I will be able to snag those three soon. So here is an overview of all the ones in my collection so far. Yep. I was going to do an updated collection tour, but I have too many horses come in in the mail um, over the next few months, so as soon as they all come in, we'll do an updated collection tour later. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this really weird video, and if you have any qu comments or questions, just ask, and ignore the background, I'm very sorry, I am in the middle of trying to get ready for the show. So, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, just comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye!